You can create budgets in QuickBooks to help you plan for your future income and expenses and then run reports to see if you've met your goals. We'll go over how to set up a budget and then run a budget versus actual report to measure your performance. Note that budgeting is only available in QuickBooks Online Plus and Advanced. Select Settings and then Budgeting. In QuickBooks Online Plus, you can create or import a budget. If you use QuickBooks Online Advanced, you have those options, plus you can build your budgets in Excel with Spreadsheet Sync. This other video will show you how to do that. If you choose to import a budget, make sure to download this template and use it when you fill out your budget outside of QuickBooks. This will simplify the import process. In this video, we'll create a new budget in QuickBooks. First, select Create a Budget. Select the budget type. A profit and loss budget helps you track your performance, like income and expenses, against your predicted results. This is helpful to measure the predicted profitability of a business against actual results. Let's set up a profit and loss budget. Then select the year you want to create a budget for. Consolidated budgets help you budget for your entire organisation, and subdivided budgets help you budget for specific customers. If you have locations and classes enabled, you'll also see those options. Note that you can only select one at a time, but you can always come back later and create more budgets. So you can start with a consolidated budget and then once that's done, you can set up subdivided budgets for each of your existing customers, locations or classes. If you want to create a subdivided budget, choose the customer, location, class or project you want to create a budget for. Let's create a budget for the entire organisation. Select Next. QuickBooks automatically names the budget, but you can change that here. If you have actual financial data or budgets from previous years, QuickBooks displays that data here. But you can choose a different reference data from this menu, or use this toggle to turn it off entirely. If you want to copy the reference data to the new budget, select a checkbox, and then select Batch Actions. Select Copy Reference Data. And if you change your mind, you can select an account entry and then select Clear Data. You can also switch between filling out your budget for the entire year or entering quarterly or monthly amounts. To enter or change a number, enter it in the appropriate field. You can copy this same number on the fields to the right. Or if you've entered a budget amount and want to divide it evenly among the fields to the left, select this button. When you're finished filling out the budget, select Save and Close. QuickBooks lists all of your budgets. You can select the drop-down menu to run reports related to a specific budget. View Edit, Archive, Duplicate or Delete a Budget. If you archive a budget, you'll no longer see it but you can still toggle on this option to see your archived budgets. This is also where you can create and import new budgets. Select Settings and Budgeting to return to this screen at any time. After you've recorded transactions that affect your financial statements, you can start comparing your actual performance to your budget. Select Reports, and run the Budget versus Actuals report. You can view your actual numbers, which come from the transactions you've recorded, compared to what you budgeted, whether or not you went over budget, and what percent of the budget you've used. The report only shows results from one budget at a time. You can choose between different budgets here. You can also change the date range of transactions QuickBooks uses to build the report and customise the report in other ways. Now you're ready to create a budget in QuickBooks and compare your company's performance to the budget.